Hello there guys and gals, the Welsh Hunter here back with yet another 100% achievement guide and this time we are getting it all in Where the Snow Settles or what is this, this for short. This was developed and published by Myriad Game Studios and is usually available for £8.79 but is on sale frequently and for as low as £3.51 i.e. is the case this week. So we play as Aurelia who, no, wasn't brought up in the cold suburbs of Canada but she's in a Moana type village, only it's covered and constantly snowing. Which, you know, it's fun for a f you know, fun first for a few days off work, but then gets really annoying and really cold. We go on an adventure anyway to sort it out. Now, achievements are extremely easy. Uh, there's eight for completing each chapter, and two for sliding down a slope and crossing some logs. Nice. It's enjoyable and very chilled, and it'll only take around 35 to 40 minutes to complete. So, with that being said then, uh, let's do it. And of course, because this game is sort of one of those follow and uh, just do some dialogue bits, so there's going to be quite a bit of silence from me on my end, but, well, I'm going to chuck in some snow jokes, because <laughs> it's snow joke, this game. Uh, you know, with all the climate control stuff going on. It's not funny. Oh, snowed funny? Nah. Anyway, I'm going to be chucking in some jokes. Anyway, so what we'll do, we'll obviously start a new game and begin. Obviously, uh, controls are very, very easy. You are literally just going to move the left stick and then press the A button to smash through a lot of dialogue. So here we are, as the faceless wonder. I don't know how she can breathe, or see, or smile, or show any emotion. She doesn't have a face. Uh, anyway, just, uh, so yeah, just keep spamming the A button until you are able to move. There we go, left stick to move. Ro ro ro. Off to the right we go. Now, a lot of the times, um, we're going to go get into some automatic cutscenes here, like so. Uh, but a few, a few, a few things you can look at. We can just nip on if you so wish. So head all the way to the right, and you're gonna meet uh, your sister. Who, to be fair, I thought that was a. It looks like one of those prince dudes from a Disney film. But that is a beautiful blonde. That's your beautiful blonde sister right there. Anyway, so just keep spamming the A button, and for now, all you can do is just keep following. You literally cannot get lost. The only times I'll sort of uh, pipe up, in fact, that's chapter one already done. Slicey. So the only times I'll sort of pipe up, really, is when I'm about to tell you some jokes, and, you know, whether to go left or right. But again, really, you cannot get too lost. And if you do, congratulations. You're awesome. Hey. So as you're going to follow Elsa right here to the right, um, I just want to ask, what's white and goes up? And no, it's not It's not what you're thinking, you crude people, you. It's a confused snowflake. <laughs> ah, the puns just keep on being punny. I mean, to be fair, if it wasn't snowing constantly and you went freezing your ass off to death, it's uh, quite a pretty scene, isn't it? Quite a pretty picture. Uh, but again, like I said, it'll only be good for a few days off work and then it'll just pee you off, man. Thank you. 
So follow Elsa off to the left once you are done, and then, you know, you can get some more dialogue. So you can pretty much see how this game is uh, going to be. A very interesting story, though, in all fairness. So, nothing to it, crossing some logs, you automatically go on. Uh, I don't know if you can fall off, but you can definitely move on the logs, so, you know, just be careful. Uh, again, I'm pretty sure you can't fall off, because I didn't really try it, but, you know, you will get an achievement in Chapter 6, I believe, for crossing all the precarious logs, as it says. Ah, oh, Elsa, you son of God, you stupid, you... Urgh. So, apparently then, if you touch a big stone that gets rid of all the snow, it falls apart and it's not warm anymore. <gasps> Pretty much like me. Don't touch me, otherwise I'll fall apart. That's, uh, well, that's people over, over the age of 30, few. And probably over the age of 25 these days as well. We're all broken, we're all, uh, yeah, we're all mashed up, aren't we? Right, so, just uh, obviously start heading to the right in a moment. We are in another world, but at least you can warm up for five. And in my best David Attenborough voice. And here we see the precarious uh, slug feather who walks on his eyes for some reason. What kind of goddamn abomination did, <laughs> did God create here? Hmm, just watch. Is he a flying feather or is he a slug that walks on his eyes? You tell me. So of course we are going to follow the slug walkie eyes slash flying feather, whatever it is. By the way, that uh, David Attenborough impression kind of went from 
sort of David Attenborough to sort of just completely old, pissed off London at the end, didn't I? Hmm. Well, maybe I'll keep the impressions for another day. Put another shrimp on the barbie! So there we go then, that's the aim of the game now, we just gotta light up some stone flowers, or flones, or stowers, and then we're all good. So, i uh, got to ask you, which do you think is faster, hot or cold? Hot, of course, because you can catch a cold. <laughs> Well, screw you too, purple slug eyes, slug legs, feather flying feather. What did we ever do to you? So before following our slug leg eyed friend, he's going to dart to the left, we're going to dart to the right and we're just going to use our stone with these two stowers or flones, whatever you want to call them and then just head to the left and speak to old pal boy again. See, I am coming uh, through with some good advice in this guide.
So chapter 3 was kind of long there for 10 minutes, we are now on to chapter 4, a long way from home. And uh, you know, there's nothing uh, really too different in here, you're talking, walking, chilling, illing and killing, but you are back home now which is nice. So if you were just starting to get warmed up, well you're about to freeze your ass off again. Old faceless woman. Step on an ice crack, break your mother's back. So that's why you should never step on an ice crack. Right, uh, again, the, uh, this next achievement is, it is unmissable. You basically have to uh, go down a couple of these slopes, they get a little bit bigger. You can feel the snow getting right up into your, uh, you know, area of where snow's not supposed to go. Um, yeah, even now it made my... Made my thing shrink, just feeling snow on them, but uh, yeah. Anyway, so literally just keep slamming down a couple of these. The last one's going to be a big one. You're going to have to, you know, shake it out like a dog, and then the achievement will unlock. Nice. I give you extra credit if you actually shake like a dog while you're playing this as well. <laughs> Yeah, of course there's snow in your pants, you've been, been going straight up there. You literally, it's coming out your nose now. <laughs> like milk, but you're sneezing snow instead. That, no, that wasn't actually a pun for anything this time. <laughs> anyway, while we're on to the next chapter, 
What do you call the monkey who won an Olympic gold medal for downhill skiing? A champion! Hey! Man, these are... <laughs> man, these are crud. I'll say you're daft. You've made me pick up the stone and then you just go and get yourself trapped like a... I tell you what, when we get home, I'm going to confiscate your leg. Now that it's broken, you ain't going to need it no more, you. No going back. Now, we've only got about 30 minutes left, or uh, 13 minutes left of gameplay, I should say. So we've got this one, 6, 7, and 8 to do. Uh, so these are obviously quite quick chapters. There you go, it's the last log we're crossing, so be careful, be careful, be very careful, and ta-da! 
You are the greatest gamer in the history of gamers. Congratulations, everyone. Not so clumsy after all. I mean, to be fair, in real life, if we were cl quite clumsy, <laughs> there's no getting back from that, eh? Uh, so this is the f uh, end of the final chapter, so I'll quickly uh, let you in on a little joke again. So why don't you see penguins in Britain? They're afraid of whales. Whales, whales. And you should say... Why don't you see much sheep in England? Because they're all having a good time in the Welsh country. Get in there. Bummed and eaten. That's, uh, yep, that's the Welsh way. According to every English person ever. Knock, knock. Who's there? I see. I see who? I see you. <laughs> right, I'm calling the police. Screw you. Police! There's a stalker in my window. Anyway, two more chapters left, less than 10 minutes, let's head to the left and straight up and we're going to see our slug walking feather friends again. So, are you ready for the mother of all boss fights? I mean, it's not the mother of all boss fights. It's it's not even a boss fight. It's still quite chilled. Uh, so, all we're going to do is head towards the floaty man. Uh, by the way, what's the difference between snowmen and snowwomen? Snowballs. <laughs> oh, we're getting from the clean to the dirty now, which is always a good time on this channel. So while old Broski's uh, distracted, we're just going to go to each of the three stones and then press the A button. So you need to press the A button here to get, whip out some energy and then go to the first stone, which we're going to go in the bottom right-hand corner. So just go down, head to the right here, and there it is. So we've got some uh, one-liners here coming up now. So uh, you can say uh, we don't even need to build a fire tonight because that body is already on fire. Oh, yeah. Lose the sled. And ride me instead. <laughs> 
You make me feel like a snowflake when you're around. One touch and I melt. Woohoo! Sexual intercourse. Snacks is like snow. Didn't get any again this year. And that was a pretty uh, terrible way to finish off. Anyway, once you've done all the... I uh, hope you enjoyed them. I uh, hope once you've done that, you need to head back, have more conversation, and then sap. Sap this guy's energy out of him again. This time, what you're going to do is head immediately to the left and then interact with this stone here. And the final one is just behind this guy. Do that one, job done, and then you can just follow your slug friend to finish the level and start the couple of minutes, chapter eight, to complete El Gamo. There we go, Matt. So, um, yeah, all the stones are all good. So, I guess in this village, again, if you want a couple of days off work, you could literally just uh, pinch a little bit of the stone, be like, oh, man, it's bloody snowing again. Jesus. Uh, and then when you've had enough, you sort of put it back in. Oh, look at that. That's uh, it's quite dangerous, mind. Don't mess with nature.
And just before we finish off, I will tell you one more little tiny joke. How does a Frenchman say, let it snow? Let it snow. Yeah, get it? Yeah, 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 French people are super cool. Right, anyway, once you have put an offering of um, some cherries or a tree branch in each bowl, just follow off, finish the video, and that is job done. So I will leave it here. So thank you so, so much for watching, guys and gals. I hope you enjoyed the game and the guide as well. If it helped, of course, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and share with a friend as well. Big shout out to all my Patreon supporters and my YouTube members as well. So once again, thank you so, so much for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Big old lovebergs.